Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. Today we're going to be installing the USA Spec iPod adapter in this 3 Series BMW. This adapter installs back here in the trunk in place of a CD changer and operates through the radio in place of the CD changer. This unit is specifically set up to work with iPhones and iPod devices. However, it does have auxiliary input so that you can use a smartphone or any other MP3 device to play your music through the radio system. With that, let's see how easy this is to install. In the installation of the USA Spec iPod adapter, we'll be installing the unit here where normally we would have a uh, factory CD changer installed. All right, now that we have the trunk floor panel out, we will remove the oddments tray. This is secured by the typical BMW expanding rivets. We'll use our plastic pry tool from our pry tool set to pull the center of the rivet out like that. And over here, again. Now these remaining pieces are simply loose and the whole thing can be pulled up. We'll pull these base plates out. They do make it easier. And just set these aside. In fact, we'll put them in the tray. The tray can now be lifted out. We'll go ahead and remove the hard floor here. And now the tray will come out. Like that. Now with our tray out of the way, the next will be to remove the side trim panel here. Now normally we would be removing the tail light bulb housing cover first. This vehicle does not have the cover in place so it's already removed. Normally there's just a screw on the back and the cover comes off. We can then remove the rivets up here and one further back and then the panel comes down again. This car the rivets are already removed so we'll just start to pull this panel down. It is flexible so you just pull it down around the sheet metal areas, out from behind the tail panel. You do have to work with it a little bit, but it is flexible and it will come out. Now we don't have to physically remove the whole thing. We'll just move it out of the way. Maybe we can get it to a point here where it's out of the way enough and the camera can still see. There we go. How's that? Now this is the area where we have the radio amplifier and if we had a CD changer in the car it would be mounted right here as well. Now with everything uncovered we can access the wiring which on this vehicle is just it's right behind the amplifier here. This is the harness we're looking for. You can see that it comes off of the main amplifier harness. It will often have a fabric bag over the harness and it'll be in this area back here or it might be stuffed behind the amplifier here. Sometimes it's up in front over here, but this is what we're looking for with the two uh, plastic connectors on it. Now if the vehicle already has a CD changer installed, this harness will be wired up to the CD changer. We'll disconnect the harness and the CD changer will become non-functional. You can either leave the CD changer in the car or just go ahead and remove it since it won't be useful anymore. With this, we're going to use these two plugs and we have a harness for the USA spec adapter. Here's the parts of the kit. We have the adapter itself. This is the cord to run forward in the vehicle. And this is the iPod connection cable. Now on this cable, the forward cable, this has our connections for the adapter to connect to the vehicle's harness. 
and that would be this plug right here. This matches our six pin plug. Just pay attention to the uh, indexing on the plug. Plugs right in. And the three pin plug right next to it here, again, is indexed and it will only go in one way. So now we have our connection to our main operation cable. This will run forward in the car. The DIN connector plug will plug into the unit here. And the iPod plug will plug in here and go to your iPod. Now notice on the unit, we also have RCA inputs, so we can run various different auxiliary inputs, be they uh, satellite radio or any other type of audio device using RCAs. And we have control switches which allow us to set up channels uh, for best operation in this particular vehicle, and that's in the instructions. So now if we were using a smartphone or an MP3 device on this, we would use an adapter cable to run the audio out on the smartphone or the MP3 player, the same plug you'd use for your headphones. And that adapter cable would terminate into two RCA uh, inputs to plug in right here. Then we'd be able to play our MP3 player or our, the music on our smartphone directly through the radio, just like we're going to do with the iPod or iPhone which comes into the device here. The main difference is with an iPod or an iPhone you have full control of the iPod, uh, excuse me, the iPod device directly through the radio. If you use an auxiliary input it's just like uh, putting a cassette adapter in a cassette player with your uh, mp3 player. You do control the mp3 player directly from the mp3 player device and you're just running an audio input into the radio. So that with that there, we'll set this aside. Next stage is to run this cable forward. And rather than doing that right now, this vehicle actually has a different audio device on it. We're going to refer you to our video for the installation of the uh, DICE Media Bridge device.